You know, I was born in Lagos, Nigeria, in the western part of Africa, uh, born into an impoverished family. Uh, the reality of the kids that I grew up in were kids that have to walk sometimes two, three, four, five miles to get a, you know, a pail of water uh, so they can cook and, and, and take care of their family. So, I, so I've seen poverty firsthand and, and to realize that people that live where I live, just shoes wasn't part of the things that they could afford. You know, I went to help my mom sell water. I carried a basket of water to go sell water for those that are playing at the park across the street. Uh, that's when this group of Americans, I didn't even know they were missionaries, uh, uh, they brought these little orange balls. I didn't know what it was because everything that was round in Africa, we used to kick them. Uh, finally, later on, it was called basketball. Uh, they, they taught us how to dribble, they taught us how to shoot, and buddy, it was one of the greatest days of my life. Uh, to be the one at the end of the day that was picked to actually receive uh, one of the greatest gifts that was given because I won a little contest, which turned out to be my first ever pair of shoes. And that missionary looked me in the eye, I found his name was David, he's from the great state of Wisconsin. And uh, he looked me in the eye, said that I can do anything I put my heart and my mind to, but I should continue to dream big and believe that the impossible can become possible for me. So my basketball coach actually gave me the, uh, the contacts for about five different schools in America. And you know, I got the chance to, uh, uh, to really reach out to them and tell them and try and sell them the fact that I want to come play basketball in America. Uh, but I ended up accepting the offer from the University of North Dakota and Lake Region. They've changed their name now to Lake Region State College uh, to go play basketball. My father passed away in 1997 uh, from sources of the liver. And I remember going back to Africa for his funeral and um, hanging out at the park where I used to sell water where I met my friend, uh, David, I gave him my first ever pair of tennis shoes. And I saw many of those kids just like me in those days, hopeless, uh, without shoes, without direction. And that's when the thought came in my mind, what if I can come and help these children and help teach them how to play basketball and provide them shoes? And that's when I actually started thinking about it. I didn't realize this until I actually came back. That there were over a billion people in the world that never be able to have fear to pair of shoes. Kids lose their lives because they have no shoes. And we knew what it was like to be able to have shoes in America. Shoes to us in this country is a fashion statement, but to the millions of kids around the world, it's actually a vehicle to help them survive. You know, what we do with the children is just, is greater than just providing shoes, because anybody can give away shoes. But what our teams of ambassador literally will do, we'll get on those dirty floors with those children, and one by one we'll wash their feet. And we'll look them eyeball to eyeball and tell them that, you know, your dream can also become a reality. Because what we're really doing is really planting seeds of hope into the lives of those children. Yes, we give them a pair of shoes. Yes, we give them a pair of socks. But the reality is those kids, those boys and girls, get to experience love in an unbelievable, just compassionate way that they've ever experienced. And I want to be able to pass that on to the next 10 million kids. Because who never know, maybe there'll be another, another Manny out there that's willing to say, I want to use my platform to make a difference. To learn how you can be of help and help us live a lasting footprint in the life of a child, would you go to www.samaritansv.org and help us live that footprint in the heart of a child in need?